Adam Maripos Vox here with a really quick video. I wanted to give a shout out to at Ben Milford on Twitter who let me know that there is a new version of TerraCopy, which is the file copying app that I use on Windows. Now, the reason that you would need it is that Windows's file copying system for Windows Explorer is actually really slow and it doesn't take advantage of multi-threaded CPUs, which are pretty much all CPUs nowadays. I've been using it for a few years now and it makes file copying a lot more reliable and less prone to crashes and a lot quicker. And they've actually put over put out a new update that kind of overhauls the GUI, but also speeds up copying a bunch of little files because I had posted a screenshot that I was moving some Plex Media Server temporary files, uh, over 500,000 of them, and that it was going to take forever. And the new version is actually blazing through this at up to 100 megabytes per second sometimes, 67 megabytes per second right now. It is blazing through it, going way faster than it did the first time. It's already, like, it is just blowing through all of these files. And it looks, I mean, it looks pretty cool. The GUI isn't super important, but getting this kind of, you know, uh, better UI to track what you're doing. It's got a progress bar in the little indicator down there, if you can see that and it is just going way faster so head on if you want to pick up TerraCopy, if you haven't tried it out before or if you want the update codesector.com slash TerraCopy, and i'm actually finishing the installation right now doesn't come any come with any bloatware or anything like that Hit next uh it'll need to close windows explorer temporarily and it will relaunch it And then if you haven't used TerraCopy before, it will prompt when you first make a copy, uh, asking if you want to copy that with TerraCopy or Explorer as it shows in the screenshot. I can't show you that because it's probably not going to give me that option, uh, but it will give you that option. And you want if you want to stick with TerraCopy, you want to uncheck that checkbox next to show dialog and just choose copy with TerraCopy. And then every time moving forward, it will use it. Now, once you finish the installation, if you launch TerraCopy itself, you can use it as like a middleman by uh, dragging files onto it and then, you know, telling it where to go. But what I usually do is I just, you know, use the native, I just use the native file copying process. So for example, I have this clip here that I know is for the Plex Media Server. So I'm going to cut it, head on over to Active Projects, Plex, Temporary Files, make a new directory. That's where it's going. Paste. And then it automatically, since I already told it to copy with it, copies over here. And you can see it's copying really, really fast. And it's a third-party program. So it used to Windows Explorer was super unreliable and would crash a lot and crash during big file copies. So that was the main reason a lot of us switched. But now it is just a much faster one. And I just, I just wanted to give it a quick app spotlight because of how quickly it is blazing through all these tiny files that I'm moving over here on my server that I otherwise would have been waiting a couple days for, and it's probably going to finish within an hour, which is insane. So link will be in the description below. As always, smash the like button if you enjoyed. Leave me a comment if you have experience with TerraCopy, and if you didn't know about this version, or if, you, um, if, if you're impressed with it or whatnot. I'm Vox here to make tech easier and more fun, and I will see you next time.